Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with y'all. I think it's been like a really long time since I actually did like a sit down Dollar Tree haul. Usually I do them like I do my grocery hauls unless I just like include it in a vlog or something. But I haven't done one in like this style or this format in a very long time. But this is how I used to do them. I always used to sit down and like pull each item out one by one and I don't know for some reason today that's the way I felt like doing it so I spent around like $36 at Dollar Tree yesterday but I didn't feel like filming a haul so I just shoved the bag in the corner until now when I actually feel feel like filming this so the only thing that I cannot share with you is um they have these little like they're tiny cans they're like little they're small like the Red Bulls, the smallest Red Bull, um, but they're like an iced coffee drink. I got one of those in the mocha flavor and like drank that on my way um, home. So I threw that away and I don't have that to share with you. But the first thing I have is the bag that I got. This is a huge bag um, and that's most of the reason why I got it because I really liked the size of it. Um, and then I didn't have my reusable bags with me. So whenever that happens, I usually buy a new one because I love the ones from Dollar Tree. They tend to last for a while. So we got a calendar. I was by myself, I say we got, but I got a calendar for like the homeschool area. The kids each picked their own calendar back at like the beginning of the back to school season. Um, but they have those hanging in their bedroom. Uh, and the one that we had in the homeschool room was over in December. So we needed a new one. So I picked birds because it had a lot of pretty birds in it. And then I got some multiplication and division worksheets for Lily to use. I like these packets of worksheets. It's not like a workbook. It's just individual worksheets that you can tear out. Um, and I've used them with the sight word ones and the shape ones before and my kids always really like them so I got that for Lily and then I found some new like stationary pens and stuff these I just thought were really cute they had a bunch of like a new like eco line which I think these are um it said like wheat or something yeah wheat straw I don't know if that's just the color or if it's actually made with wheat I'm not sure but they are jot fine liners in black, blue, and red. And then I found some brush markers. Um, great for hand lettering and calligraphy. They have a brush tip. Um, one packet is red, orange, and yellow, and one is green, blue, and purple. And I love pens and markers and stuff I'm always looking at that kind of stuff at Dollar Tree then I got some lead for our mechanical pencils I picked up a Valentine's Day card for Andy because I always buy my cards at Dollar Tree and then I got some Valentine's Day plates with hearts and then also some napkins and then I really like these, what are they, like rice cakes with their little rolls. Um, I've had the cinnamon ones and the plain ones, but these are hot and spicy chili flavored. So I got those to try. They sounded fun. And then we love these little cheese dip and breadsticks. I got two packages of those. Still the best price on them is at Dollar Tree, even with it going up to $125. And then I got the kids each one thing for Valentine's Day I don't usually buy them a lot usually like a piece of candy or two and then just like a couple little things um, I've done like a bunch of this like fairy garden stuff in the past and so when I see that new stuff has been put out I always look and see if there's anything that we don't have and we do not have these the little unicorns or the little dragons so I got those for them for Valentine's Day. And then Andy asked for some Chef Rarity spaghetti and meatballs. Not the best price at Dollar Tree, but that's the only place that I was going that was that had it. So 
they actually didn't have it. So instead I picked up a big can of the SpaghettiOs. I always get these there when they have the big can because this is a good deal. Um, Cause this is a 22.4 ounce can. And then I just picked them up a can of mini ravioli and beefaroni since they didn't have the spaghetti and meatballs. And then I needed a picture frame. I've got a picture that was given to me and me and Andy and the kids, but it needs a frame five by seven. I liked the like wood texture on this one. And then I needed some soap. So I picked up three of these dial hand soaps in the Himalayan salt. It smells really good. So I got those. And then I got a USB wall charging block because I needed that to plug something in that Andy got for Christmas. And then some new sunglasses. There's like a thing on them, but these were in the Valentine's Day stuff. And they said novelty glasses, but then they do say ultraviolet protection. So they are actually sunglasses. Super cute hearts and glittery and I love them. And then Andy asked for some of these sour Mykonics. So I actually picked up two boxes, but he started eating one last night. So the other one is gone. And then I love the cream cheese and chive crackers. So I picked up a box of those. And that is everything that I got at Dollar Tree today. As I said, I spent about $36. Yep, $36.34. That's gonna do it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like me doing it this way better or do you like when I just lay it all out and show you everything and then point to the items? Um, I'm probably gonna switch back and forth depending on my mood. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you found any fun finds at Dollar Tree recently. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.